Muling pinagyan ng diri, matingala ka, nagdiri sa inyong simbahan na nung naalim. Because this is what I have learned also in what I have studied in the States in the Bible School. That many graduated in the Bible School, but all of them did not become a pastor. But some are apostles, some are evangelists, but they have one church. Are you with me? That's just his kasipahan. And the pastor, who is the shepherd of all of this, he gives authority and anointing, and they authorize them by the blood of Jesus to go sex for. Are you with me? Parang santa na to na. Santa na to na. Na ako di rin, nag-start siya na pastor, pero apostolic na yan kasing-kasing. Ang uba na ni or the now to overqualify na nagtuturate na sila. That is why they are planting churches. I need to change this. But I would like to understand here, Hato Masabtani, that in my church, in the Bible school where I graduated, it's a Jubilee Christian, it's a Jubilee Christian Center. It was with un, uh, under with Dick Bernal before, and now it's road, uh, si Pastor, uh, I don't know, it was gibaligya na nila, na naman sa Amerika, no? Sa Amerika, ito ang masakta na tuloy para di yung mag-upa na itong mga utok. Sa Amerika, when you are pastoring a church and you are going to ay ipunan ng ihatag sa isang ka-organization or isang ka-team, kung bakit na, ilisan ko nilang nalan. Right? There is a tuwa, mahimo nga kontrobersya. Mahimo nga away. Mahimo nga sometimes misunderstanding. But you know what? Sometimes they believe that it is the season for them now. It's not the season anymore. Ay mga inanak, diri sa Pilipinas, kung namatay kang pastor, magpastor na lang din ka. No? Ayaw po gagawin kay Billy K. Evangelist. Pero sa unang panahon, sa training board, sa akong mga ginikanan, when you become a pastor, kinanglan ka ba lang ka ng Bible ministry? Nanti na? Apostolic, magplant sila churches. And then they become evangelists, mag-open sila, mag-crusad na. And then, they will be a teacher, Sunday school. And then, they become the pastor. Pero karun na panahon, because many already has been called into this office and into this calling. At ito na sabdan ba? Ngunit isa kabutang na akong giganahan sa inyong simbahan kay kung dito butas mga ituman, ipangalan tanan ni siya kapusol, evangelist so and so. Diba Brother Joseph? There's a lot of names in the ministry. When you go to the black ministry, they have a lot of names na ginapangalan. Na kay woman of, you are the lady of the house, lady of the tagad kay pangalan. But the Bible is telling us here that He gave some yata niyan, kaning office ay kaning Bible ministry it's a very strong conviction in your spirit. I give you one example. My uncle in Christian fellowship, Benito Paklin. Nagasawa siya o missionary. Ako lang sa tingin na istorya, no kayo? Para masabutan yung natuloy Bible ministry. Nagasawa siya o missionary. Ang akong angkol, evangelist niya ka, di ba? Andre, evangelist si Pastor Benito. Pero kapalo siya, well, one day in his life, nakagather mga po siya mga tao because sa unang talang, imo na imoon. I know that I am a pastor, but a strong calling in my life is an evangelist. Kaya pa na ako, kuhan pa ako. Iyang imo, nagbiling siya o duwag assistant pastor niya sa CCCC, sa Christian Fellowship. I know you know the church. Ibili niya, and then, when he was still young, he traveled to all the world. Missionary man niya kasawa, iyang ibilin, mag-handle po by your school. Teaching, ang akong handi. Pag-to sila, and then, in the course of life, kung dili na siya kusun, dili na siya kusgan, nagbalik na siya sa inyong public. Pero pagbalik niya sa inyong pangbit, wala niya di kuha atong inyong mga sister pastor. Wala niya di pahawak. And then, but he continued, even though he was evangelist, he was pastoring the pastors na he 
yang dipilih. Then when he died, wala yung problema ang church. Sometimes, I think one of the reasons also of the church to grow because of this faithful ministry. One of the main reasons why church is growing because it is delegated well. The church, para magmawala man, mamatay man ang mga naa sa leadership, then meaning, these things, when we say of equipping, you are transferring the knowledge to someone. Imong gipasa ang batong ni ini. But ang kadaganan karon sa mga pastors po, wala na yung mga anak ang gusto sa ministry. Right? I'm blessed with the life of Pastor Garden and Pastor LB. Kailang anak, nagantugtog. And I hope one day, hindi yun na mungwala si Michael anak. Mahiya na yun na madala, pastor. Kadaganan po sa mga anak sa pastor, dili sila nagdugay, wala sila mga anak kay ang nakita lang mga itong kalisun. Nuhay mo no? Mga anak's pastor, kaya na po. Ang nakita nila is kalisun. But there are children, and I would like to give an example also din sa akong auntie. Uh, pastor Feliciano and my auntie, ang akong uncle, gitawag siya o Bible man sa alliance sa, sa ganito auntie? Sa Sambuanga? Oh, sa alliance. Ibilisa, Bible College. Because when you speak to him about the Bible, the verse and everything, it just easily come out. Gawas na. Bible man ang akong uncle. But when the time he was baptized with the Holy Spirit, muna na ato ni sila ang kumbi. Ito ka nga ang iyang theology. But he was a powerful professor in the Bible school. Nag-pioneering sila sa Cotabato City and after that pioneering, nag-plant sila mga churches is still standing. That is why when I look at this church, there are na-capture sa iyang mga anak ang heart of mission. Dili pastoral care ba a heart of mission? Mauna nakuha nila. But I know one day na aking mga pastoral is ay lahat. Di pa man wala hinang tanan. No? Di pa wala hinang tanan. Mga usog na passion na sa ilaha. Usog na passion. And with my father, he is a pastor. Namin tayo si Sibani. Nasa organization na everything. Ni Mami Kapok is a napatay. Ang duha na kung mamaging suor, pastor ni sila. Nangan to Gabron. Ako, kini, ang ako mga mga namatay, missionary ko sila, kalindua. Natingala ko, nga nung ako may nagpabili. And then, my two brothers, is in the States, is in the States, he is working with the uh, Isaka Church sa uh, Miami, and they do the missions. They will give food, kanang sa na missionary thing, na maghatag sila mga pagkaon sa streets. And then, ang akong brother sa Canada, he is also an assistant pastor. Ako noon, na wala yung na akong nag-ipangandoy, ako'y gibilin sa ginuho ni Risa, Pilipinas. But what is in my heart when I look at it? I have seen the passion of my father as a pastor, apostle, and evangelist. O nga, usay pa kayo ng ginuho, naitay, when I speak, I have a church, but my heart is on mission. It's not on mission. mission. And then God is telling us here today, ang iyang ginayimot din isa, ito ka karun na kabuntagon, that what office God has given you, you must know and acknowledge that it is from God. Iyan yung nagigat sa ginawa. Kaya mga tao, labi na tres Pilipinas, hindi na sila makarecognize sa mga ang ilang kabalo lang na nasa misis na pastor. But there's this apostle, prophets, evangelists, and teachers. But all of this, the Bible says, and all of this, when it is equipped together, you will have a strong and mighty church. Kusog nga simbahan, maayo nga simbahan, iyang ipangatag sa matagusak na ito, hindi. But when I look at the Bible, in my Bible, there is a great apostrophe, or like a great hashtag, when he speaks apostle. And the second aspect is that there is such a great name when it speaks pastors. Meaning, in the word apostle, na itaku ka yung mga anak sa taas sa kanang na word. And then sa pastors also, na itaku ka yung anak na word. In other words, these pastors, apostles, they are the one who nurture the leadership or the office that God has 
prophets. Ang, past, ang, ang, ang prophets, they rely on the pastors. The teachers rely on the pastors. And what's the other one? Ano pa isa? Ano sa isa? Evangelists rely on the pastor. Don't you know that Juanita Paino is a great evangelist, but he has, she has a pastor. Juanita Paino. Bisa tayo, kinsa pa, ah, uh, Morris Cerolo. Who are those things? Katong si, ah, uh, namatay na si, ah, uh, who speak about kingdom? 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 What was the name of that? It's a black man. Pastor. He got a pastor. In other words, the pastoral and apostolic ministry, they are a gift for us to nurture the gifts that we have. Mga si Pastor Balong Karol, naani siya yung dako na tas na pagay moon that all of this Bible ministry will function inside the church. Are you with me? And if you look at verse 12, it says in verse 12, it was shot for the equipping of the saints. This is the purpose of the fivefold ministry in the church. Kadagalan, mo lang namutan ako ganiya. Kung unsa pa inyong ginata, pero na ako may discipleship. Ingon niya tigil, kani ang mong gihimo. Akong nakikaan, daghan kay mga pastor, na discipleship, dili man sa ilang simbahan, dito sa laing simbahan. Kaya na ako'y naasasama mo ko na ako, Pastor, is into that. And I said one time, I said, Lord, your gifts must start in the church. Your gifts must start in your leadership. And then it will flourish outside. In other words, because kamu dirindugay na mga kaayo mo, na gini, sila Pastor God, gini, sila katigin, na pandugay na mo, that is why you are already flourishing outside. Are you with me? You flourish outside because of your gifts that you are multiplying now. And this is a church where you gather together as a ministry of five points. Amen? Muling mo niya din one of the reasons of this is for the equipping of the saint for the work of the ministry. Amen. When we speak of ministry, it's not only in the church. Outside. Dito sa nawas. But because right now, we are passing the baton on the generation to come, that is why you are equipping the church. Are you ready? Don't mislead with that. Mga karon, na ako diya sa gawas, na ang tanan, and you are multiplying in your own ministry, and now in this church, you are to start the ministry that you have. I hear, there is a prayer room up, up. Yeah? And there are people also leading in discipleship, and then, ang nakita na ko, and then, ang nakita na ko, muna, muna, we start everything to be group. This is the purpose. This is the purpose. This is the purpose. So in other words, to equip the saints for the work of the ministry. In other words, there is a greater things that needs to be done in the region of Dumaguit. Dili lang nila masabdan. Amen? There are greater things to be done in this region, in this place of Dumaguit. That is why it is called the Bible ministry. You go together as one. To, to catch the vision and to, 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 to evangelize the place in the Magiti. Mongkitawa mission is to equip the saints and the ministry and edifying of the body. There are three things. Why? We have to equip the saints for the work of the ministry and then edifying the body. Kasi po na ito, inyong anak may define. As for the LB, can you share a word of this? Diba? Ang strict, 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 strict. Ang say, edify. How do you understand that? Edify the body of Christ. How do you understand that?
is that? I like that first word. Say what mo? Atong word na una yung gihon? To help?
get something here na gusto na ko nga ipalap na diya ka ninyo in, in the ministry that the Father is given us. In Romans 12, 6 and 8. Romans 12, 6 and 8. Having the gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, according to the proportion of faith. Akong itan ang may word proportion of faith. Proportion of faith. Proportion of faith or ministry. Ministry to the teacher or teaching or he that exhorted on exhortation, he that giveth, do it with simplicity. He that fool it with diligence is true with mercy with cheerfulness. Proportion to faith, it means that prophecy or any sort of things is to be exercised according to biblical maturity. Na isa ka example ano? Una ko sa ID ka muna ay mga dagkan ng the office of prophets. So office of prophets, one year pa lang sila. Nagkakita sila ng pastor nga nagluya. Pagkita nila, nanay sila ng word ni Kaatag. No sometimes dali kaya na no? Kanang lagi nitay pagkapropeta. Sometimes in the word of prophet ka lang mga pagkan. Ingon sa proportion to their gifts. In other words, and sometimes there are questions in our life. Ano man, Lord when I meet person, makamit kong isa ka tao, nga nung isa ka verse na nang tanan. Naka, naka, nakabantay ba mo, Anna, when you start up the ministry, when you start up with your leadership, nga ang ginapagala sa ginoo sa inyo, ha, inani lang sa mga level. Inani lang sa mga level sa klase sa tao. And then, ganun kay naanaman mo, you are already higher in the ministry, then God can see things beyond. Are you with me? Are you with me? The Bible says when He speak of proportion, He is speaking unto us the things that you learn, that God is teaching you right now. Ang mga buta nga imong nakatunan karon pinaagi sa principles sa Bible, God is just leading you into it in that level. Tagad ka ayaw mga tao, kadali lang. No? Ngayon mga upan, na nag-istorya sila o mga buta Na even they have never experienced it. Things like that. I will give you some. It's a proportion to your faith. For example, right now, at the Kingdom. Say, at the Kingdom, praise and worship. Ako na sing ko kahapon. Karun, na praise and worship ko na yung kinakita nila maayong kong hindi. And then I correct her right away. Dili man inana ang imong kuan. The Bible says proportion to your faith. In other words, in your gifting, God is going to pull polish it in the due season of time. Nay mga tao nga gusto dayo nila mahimo right away like this without any process in their lives. Are you with me? Kung mausay ikaw, magkatawa na lang ka sa nagtudlo ni mo, tungkol kay ikaw rin nagtudlo mo na yung sulti ni mo. The Bible says this must be proportion to your faith. In other words, what you have learned with God, what you have learned in things in your learning with God, and then God will give you the exact time for that. You with me? Na yung mga inana, usay mo yun siya, proportion to your faith. Bumusahay na yung mga prapita ng mga bata na mag-istorya. They are never been polished yet and they speak things to the prophets. O wala pa nila naman. Wala pa na ito ni ginaingon na atong di-underestate na. We are doing right now leadership. Why? Because when we will not teach them the right way. Unang katagahan sa simbahan ka ron. Pag nakita nila may na mag-haliluya, may mag-press the Lord, tagaan na yun. And then the, the character, the things that they have in their lives is not be that polished. Are you, are you with me? Are you with me? Are you with me? That is why right now I know in this place, in this time, these are already generals in leadership. You are already generals in the gospel. You are already in the, in the, in the thing. But there are people still 
if they will not correct them, they will not understand the call of God in our life. Mauna nga usahay, dili, dali, in Matthew, thank you, thank you, thank you, Matthew, in, in, in second, in second Timothy 2.22, second Timothy 2.22, it says in 2 Timothy 2.22, I would like to speak something there. Transmit the truth to its successive. Meaning, where's that? Huh? 2 Timothy 2 verse 2. Yeah, 2 verse 2. Two verse two. Yes. The things which you have heard from me in the presence of many witnesses, entrust this to faithful men who will be able to teach others. I would like to say something like this. Many of us in the fivefold ministry, we just want to multiply. Listen to this. Ang gusto lang sa pastor, sa evangelist, to multiply. Ganun na tayo na ano? Kaya kung wala ka o ta, many. Dagan. Dagan ka ayo. Mula ka o. Mula ka o ang pastor, isa ka tra, ang mukuyo. We want multiplication. But the Bible tells this, in trust this to faithful men who will be able to teach us. In other words, there must be, what is that? There must be, a, you must commit to faithful men who will be able to teach also. Pastor Elvin, I would like you to come. Usahay kita. Gusto na ito, dagha. Pag sa dugay sa leadership, makita na niyo mga kinahiyan. Makita na ninyo ang ibu ang mga tao kung sa Makita na ninyo, gigapuyan na sila ninyo. You invest in time. But you invest in time to the wrong thing. When you multiply the process, it should be able to teach other. When we look at people, inaanglan kini, I will be five times. Are you getting it? Kinahanglan si Tata, si Catherine, five times to build more. But what is happening right now? I would like to multiply because I like the multiplication. Are you with me? Are you with me? Do you understand this? When I was looking at this word of God, do not invest your time when you cannot get something out of the person. That is why many churches today, they just want multiplication. Time pa mega. Mega sardines. Mega church. Mega. Because we want to be celebrity. Sika. But what the Bible tells, you will be able, who shall be able to teach? If I am a teacher, if I am an evangelist, this person that I am equipping with will get are you with me? They can get the vision. That's the vision. They will get the vision. Not because that I want a lot of people. That is why the Bible says, thank you, Pastor. The Bible says here, it says, in Osha, commit this to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. In this office, very important to understand this. Mono mo sa ay, wala na tayong successor. Because ang ilang nakita lang mo, ilang nakita ang enjoyment. Nakita ni mo ang season that you blossom together as one. You blossom together as wonderful together. But the Bible says, if you will not multiply, that is not the leadership that God is bringing you into the person. Do you understand me here? Do you understand me here? 
Are we okay? Are we okay with this? The Bible says, and say, you must be able. Bunga, nagtanaw ko aning scripture. I said, Lord, forgive me if my motive in the ministry is to have many people this Or am I really nourishing the people to be like me? Ako kayo, mapalagan ako na sa tunga ko. Ingon pa sa kong pastor sa una, sa college ko. I know my limitation as a pastor. I cannot reach out for soul because I'm not called to that. There are evangelists here who can get a lot of soul outside, bring them to the church, and I will teach them. And that is my calling. You understand me here? You understand me here? Then the pastor will know what kind of leadership he has in his wealth. Ano nga na twelve? Sige na, ipasayas lang na to. Twelve, sige na tudlog, sige tudlog, sige tudlog, sige tudlog. Pagkawas, wala mang yaboy magpabilin sa kaninyo because you never apply these things. Invest your life. Invest your life. With those people that they can multiply like the calling of God. Are you with me? Are we clear with this? Are we clear with this? Para di ka magsakit ang atong mga buhok, atong mga kasipas. If this is not the one Lord send me, if this is not the one Lord made me, if this is not the one Lord minister to me, that is why leadership must function into the things that God wants really for you to grow and to mature in the calling of God that is in you. Ingon siya din, ingon, ingon niya, ingon niya. There must, they must enjoy hardship. In these things, in the process of these things, hardship in equipping something, equipping something, therefore, therefore must endure hardship. When you equip, no, pag sa'y kalahian, no, sa kanang nag-equip ka, o katong, nagsulti ra ka, there are two kinds of leadership, the boss and the leader. Boss are just the one who say, leaders are the one who do. You with me? And then, na ako nilikitawag yun nga, kanang kung sa'y tawag nga na. There are things that we want more to see the result of many. But the true processes. In the process of time, you can see that you are doing something. Mabalan man ito nga when you are a leader because you will know your people. Tagad po leader, hindi sa nakabalo sa ilang tamo. Pero leader sila. Ha? Ha? Pagka nag-synthesize mo siya. Dagan tao, but they are leaders, but they don't know the people. That's why in mega churches, in big churches, they have to pull yung gicho. Because my pastor patterned that in the States with the ministry of pull yung gicho. Kanang discipleship, kanang G12, kanang magwan, nag-start mo na tanan, sa pull yung gicho. Si Moses, yun ang tag-iya, anak tanan. Si Moses. No? Pero kung yung tanawon, pull yung gicho, the members of his church are only the fivefold ministry. Are you with me? Fivefold pastors, evangelists. Moto yan mga mingro. But when they go out on Sunday, those ministers will do something on the thing. Magsimpa sila, magtutulong sila, i-equip nila, and then Sunday, si Pastor Cho, ang ilang pastor, pupuha sila nourishment, pupuha sila upliftment, pupuha sila of strength. And then Pastor Cho, again, there are good leaders, and these leaders, what my pastor did in the States, na siya'y dosing, 
And one of his pastor will only prepare the needs of his pastor. Una nakita ko dili kagabi ingo ninyo. O sa tong inyo ninyo yan sa to. Training of what? Assistant, assisting the pastor. What is that? Yes. That is one part. That's why my pastor told me before in the States, he would shout, if you really want to be effective in the ministry, your only work is to communicate with God and download what is in God and then say it to the people. And they will do what they are about to do in the ministry. And then the other thing is that it's the same thing with, 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 with Moses, right? Si Jethro, nakita ko ni Jethro ka Moses. Agad kayong tao, sa huli mo na mamagnaog ka sa ila. Sa huli mo na mamagnaog ka sa ila. In other words, in this training, in this leadership thing that we are talking about, I am just telling the practical way of doing it. Walang pinagkan ng mga words. But this is the Lord was telling me on this. It was uh, and then when, when, when you go down, it was uh, one of my pastor will take care of me. And I asked him, what are you doing with your pastor? Pabot na kong pastor, nalisipan, nananiyan sa pastor. When doing missions, if he will bring me, or I will stay here to teach the people. Ah, uh, niya. And one other pastor, he is in the equipping of saints. In other words, the ministry gifts. He will pastor the ministry gifts. Prophecy, knowledge. Ibaik ibaik pag yung nakila na hindi tawa ko. Uh, was that the what is this uh, katong katong uh, what's, uh, what's the category of this katong mga discernment uh, knowledge was that it's in a guy so yes so revelation gift revelation gift in other words the pastor in the equipping of the saint he will do that to equip his people because we are planning for mega church right we cannot do mega church if our leadership is low if our leadership we doesn't know what really leadership God is given us. And then in other words, when he started starting to do something, and then makita ni mo ilang pastor dealing with Sosley. Pastor Dick is really old now, but he's still good in hearing the word of God because there is a good administration and working with this things. And that is why the assistant pastor of Pastor Dick is one of my team leader. One ang isa ka ilang assistant na Filipino, Pastor Milo, assistant pastor na niya, they are doing the ministry in the Filipino congregation. But he's the assistant pastor when it comes to administration stuff. And then I have one friend who is also the equipment of the saints, ministry groups, one of my mentor in prophetic. And then when they go together as a leader, pastor will ask them what is going on, what is happening. In other words, he know how to invest is time to the right people. Kung saan man nato ang isa kalibo nga panon, unia kung naay pastor nga magrebelde, manguyog silang kananipay, si pastor ang kanilang nabalitan nga gasa. That is why the church today doesn't really understand the ministry that God is giving in your hearts. And it's difficult also for a pastor to do this without understanding it today. We will stop. Mag-break sa takadali. Kung sa oras na nag-start ka niya? 10.15. So I nag-story ako sa kauras. And we'll have a break for 15 minutes, then we will go. We will continue.